Apparently another claim to fame is that my uh, hospital number when I was diagnosed with what was then HTLV3, uh, now known as HIV, was L1, London 1 at the Middlesex Hospital, James Pringle House. When I received my diagnosis, um, I completely fell to pieces. Suddenly I had this terminal diagnosis. They were very, very sort of dark days. And I remember in the sort of December of, uh, of 82 that I decided that, that I just, I didn't want to have to deal with it anymore. And I was going to sort of commit suicide. And the thought of somebody having to come and just find me and clear up after me, I just thought, no. So then, what do you do? Uh, like a nice Jewish boy, if you can kill yourself, you better get out and live. There's an original 1984 LGSM. They're on a demonstration up outside a coking plant in South Wales. <laughs> There's, um, oh, that's me in a film. I think it always felt fragile, really because sort of, you know, the, the, the press, they were having none of it. They have got the most perfect kind of sort of uh, weapon to, you know, marginalize us and stigmatize us even, even worse. You know, for me, what there was, was that, that because I had this, this killer virus and I was going to be dead, um, you know, next week or next month, suddenly kind of things didn't matter so much because I wasn't going to have to sort of, there were, there were no consequences. So I could do whatever I wanted to do because there was nothing that was going to come back on me because sort of I was going to be dead before it happened. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs>